Today I'm going to be doing a um, swipe, a pseudo Shelly Art swipe on photo paper. I haven't done this technique on photo paper yet. If you're interested in seeing the paper I use and how to make this platform, which you really need if you're going to pour on paper, I have some prior videos. Take a look at those. Um, here's a picture right here of the paper I'm using. It's a Canon. Um, let me show you something that I did a couple days ago. Um, these are two that I did. I did this Dutch pour, dried really nice, and I did this swipe, which I really like. That orange just pops. I wish there was more orange in there. But um, actually, these are I use the same exact colors in both of these, but I use a cell activator in this one. So I really like how this dried. Um, I can frame them, cut them down to whatever size I want. So I just wanted to show you how those dry. Now this one I'm going to, so I have the little, I have it stuck to the platform hopefully. I am going to, now if you're interested in this recipe, you can look down in the description. My paints, the medium, um, all that's down there. There's nothing changed on that except I made them a little thinner, adding more polycrylic to them. The base paint is different because I don't have, this is just a regular acrylic artist white paint that I had left over. I don't have my normal satin house paint. I might get some, but for now, this is what I'm going to try. So that's going to be my base. So let's get going. I'm going to flood this. I wish I had my spinner too. That really helps. Make sure I have enough paint. So I'm going to be swiping with my normal cell activator, which is Australian Floetrol and Amsterdam Black Oxide. It's going to be my swipe color. So now I just want to, I can't spin it, so I'm just going to have to tilt this. Well, hopefully I have enough on there. Let me try a little bit more. Yep, just save a little bit. This is the only paper that I've found that actually works. I'm sure there's other papers. Um, you know, I know UPO probably works, but UPO is super expensive. And this, I think you get 50 sheets for $20 on Amazon. If you look down in the description, down below, down below here, um, you'll see I have a link to the Canon photo paper and a link to a lot of these paints and the polycrylic and a lot of the recipe that I have here is down below. So check it out and let's get going. Um, I did, I have done this technique quite a few times. If you look back in my videos, you'll see I do it on bigger canvases, but it's hard to do bigger canvases here because then I would just have to leave them here and I can't take them with me. Consistency is a little thinner than my normal bloom, although that looks actually pretty thick. Let's see how that goes. <clears throat> By the way, that's DecoArt Satin True Blue and Handy Art Phalo Blue and Artist Loft Iridescent Pearl Medium. I squirted that in there. This is PBO Violet Blue Iridescent. Why they call it violet blue, I don't know. It has an iridescent blue, I guess. Mostly pink. Okay. Don't want a whole lot. I don't know if I'm gonna put maybe I'll put double. Go 
go over it again a little bit, just a tiny bit here and there. All right, what you don't want in this technique is to have little parts like that. Those will turn into gigantic parts that you might not want. So you try to get those. Even that part. Um, Got a rainy day here, which I don't mind. It's still warm here in Kona. At home, they got like four inches of snow, which it rarely snows where I live. So that's pretty exciting for everybody there. All right, so I'm gonna just pour my black cell activator on a tile and I'm gonna use business cards my swipe and just fold it up just a little bit. I don't I don't like the edge of that on there. Okay. Here we go. Wipe it off after each swipe. like a bird. Okay, I'm going to go in here. Let me drip. It'll become a big drip. Okay, I think that's it. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave that. With this technique, um, normally I don't fire it because of the satin enamel really comes up, but I'm going to, I see some bubbles and I'm just going to try to hit them on the side here. iridescent is really pretty. You can see that. All right, so I'm going to start tilting and see what we get. I'm just hoping I have enough paint on here. I should have helped it along. really want to lose that part, but that's okay. Turn it around so you can see. Looking pretty. So, you know, this just tells me that you don't have to use the satin house paint if you have, well, this particular, get it back in the middle, this particular acrylic paint called handy art or something like that I don't know I checked the bottle last year but 
try the background with just a regular acrylic paint if you don't have the satin. Bring it back towards the middle. a little bit of help. It's really pretty. Those colors are gorgeous. Now I really don't like this. I should have made sure that I tilted all of that off and there was just a little bit left and that's what happens. The little bit becomes a lot. I don't know if I'm going to be able to tilt that off but I'm going to give it a shot but I don't want to mess up a lot of this. So I'll probably just scrape that off because I like what I'm seeing right here. Very iridescent. Let's see that. Yeah, I like it. I miss my studio. I'm not able to do really big paintings, but um, I have a few coming up that I pre-recorded, so I don't know if when I'm going to show you this or that one, but this one has turned out really good. Very cool. So, you know, with this, I, I said I don't like that, but it, if you wanted to frame this and you put it in an 8 by 10 frame, you could just cut that off. You put it in a 5 by 7 frame, whatever size frame you want, just cut the paper. And there you go. So if your edges aren't perfect, they can always be cut off. If you want an 8 by 8 or a square, you can do that too. Whatever frame you might have laying around the house, take some spray paint, if it's the old oak type frame, and take some black spray paint and just spray paint those. I have a lot just hanging out at the house, old pictures in there that I don't show anymore. We all have those. I'm just getting any excess paint underneath between the paper and the platform so it doesn't stick while it's drying. Okay, there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I know a lot of you watching aren't subscribers, but if you like this video and you like what you see, please push the subscribe button. It really helps me out. Push the thumbs up. Don't forget to shop my Amazon links. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you. Bye-bye. Aloha.